Sound sampling is the process of turning an analog sound wave into a digital representation of that wave. So essentially what we do is we can use different equipment, but it doesn't always have to be like this. But if you imagine a microphone, that is taking in an analog sound wave, which is produced by vibrations when we speak. Then we'll have this thing called an analog to digital converter. And I'm going to take you through the steps of what this actually does that stores that wave in its digital form. Okay, so we're trying to create something that with ones and zeros that replicates that wave there. And then you've got on the other hand, you've got a digital to analog converter, which if we ever wanted to go the other way, so we want to output this digital data in analog form, we go for a DAC and it, that we might use that to say, uh, so you can hear the sound out of speaker. Okay, so that's sound sampling and the way it works is in a few steps. So the first step, as the analog sound wave is continuous, which means it can measure two values and everywhere in between, to convert this, we need to take measurements of the sound wave's amplitude at fixed and regular intervals. Try and remember this as a term. So the first step of sound sampling is taking measurements of the wave at fixed and regular intervals. So if you imagine here, that's the wave. The first step is trying to take measurements. So I've took four measurements of that wave and I've got some number representing the height of the amplitude of that wave. So here we've got 4.5, 5.2, 5.6, and 5. And you see how that's starting to form a bit of a curve. If I took more samples, it might be more accurate, but don't worry about that for now. So it takes measurements at fixed and regular intervals. Step two, this is a bit geeky, but it quantizes them. So what that means is, as it is binary data, I might only be able to represent, I don't know, let's say a thousand different values. So I'm going to round each one to the nearest value I can represent. So the easiest form to think of, if I imagine I could only represent whole numbers. So if I can only represent whole numbers, I'll round, and this it looks like this is always rounded down, I will round down these numbers, okay, in this form. But you round it to the nearest representable value, step two. Step three. Once you've got these quantized values, you essentially need to turn them into binary code and store them on the computer. Okay, it's called sound sampling as you're only taking samples of the analog sound wave, not every single value. So you're taking a sample at this time, at this time, at this time, at this time, and then I'm going to convert those numbers into binary code. So a common question is how changes will affect a sound file. So these are a couple of things here, sample resolution and sample rate, which there'll be other videos on to make sure you know those key terms. But if you increase the sample resolution, that makes the file size larger. So the sample resolution is how many uh, different values you can represent essentially, how many bits are gonna be used per sample. So if you increase that, the file size gets larger, but it makes the sound a closer representation of the original analog sound. So it's gonna be a closer representation of the curve if I've got more different values I can represent. Alternatively, if I decrease this, the file size gets smaller, and it means the sound file will be a worse representation of the original analog sound. Then here, sample rate. If I increase the sample rate, so that's how many samples I take per second of my sound, it's gonna make Anything that increases makes the file size larger, but it also makes the sound a closer representation of the original. And again, decreasing, it would make the file size smaller, but it means the sound file will be a worse representation of the original. They don't like just saying worse quality. They like saying a worse representation of the original. Because everything with sound, you're just trying to represent that analog sound wave as best you can.